Hey guys, my name is Deb Marnie and I'm from Aussie Mail and this is our Chain Mail tutorial channel. Hey guys, a big hi, hello, welcome, how are you? So pleased to see you. Thanks for popping in and spending some time with me today. So today I've got a new weave tutorial for you. This one is a um, Celtic Visions variation called Camelot. Alright guys, let's jump straight into it. Okay guys, I've made up some sample pieces of the Camelot weave for you. Coming up on the side here will be a list of the ring sizes I use to make these pieces, as well as down in the description section. But to run through them quickly for you, this one over here in silver um, is our 14 gauge AWG 1.6 millimeter diameter wire. Now, uh, the larger rings for this are 9.5 millimeter ID, and the smaller rings here on the side and the connecting rings, these ones are 5.5 millimeters. Now, if you have 730 seconds of an inch um, in anodized rings, you could use those instead. I actually don't stock those size rings, so I wasn't able to use them. But if you've got them, they would work instead of the 5.5. The next one is 16 gauge AWG 1.2 millimeter diameter wire. The silver rings are 7 millimeter ID, and the smaller colored rings are 5.30 seconds of an inch or 3.97 millimeters. The next one is our 18 gauge version, 1 millimeter diameter wire. The silver rings are 5.75 millimeters. And the coloured rings are 9 64ths of an inch or 3.57 millimetres. And lastly, the 20 gauge version, 0 0.8 millimetre diameter wire. The silver rings are 4.5 millimetres and the coloured rings are 7 64ths or 2.78 millimetre ID. Now I have to say, for this particular weave, I really love the 20 gauge version because it's a very wide, chunky weave. Uh, 16 gauge, which is usually my go-to, um, is a little wide uh, for, my, for my tastes. The 18 gauge is nice, but I think the 20 gauge is absolutely stunning. So anyway, this weave is based on Celtic weave. So if you know how to do Celtic weave, this is going to be no problems for you whatsoever, guys. Okay, so as I said, this weave is um, a Celtic Visions variation. So if you don't know how to make Celtic Visions, I'll show you how to do it here. But if you want some extra information, um, I will link a video up here for you where we've done Celtic Visions in the past. But to start this weave, we're taking up um, your large silver ring. So I'm working in the 16 gauge version this time so I can show you the two colours. So take up your larger ring and I'm going to pop on two of my coloured rings. One of these coloured rings will become the clasp attachment point. So if you don't want to use a coloured ring for your clasp, then just pop on um, a plain ring or you can pop the clasp attachment ring on later. So you would just pop the one ring on. But anyway, we're going to make up a chain that is one large, one small, one large, one small, one large, one small. And you're going to need to do that for at least the length that you need the bracelet to be. And this will scooch up on you. Um, it will depend on what gauge you're using. So be prepared to add extra to um, your work. You're going to need to add, look, I would add, a, say, at least 20% extra in length but it is easy to add to so um, don't let that worry you at all so, oops. so just go ahead and finish making your chain that is one large one small one large one small um, to the length that you require it to be to start with so if you go ahead and do that guys and I'll meet you back here to show you what the next step would be okay so I've made up my simple chain to the length that I want it to be. Uh, one thing you need to keep in mind, these uh, colored rings in the middle, you want them in pairs. Okay, so we want an even amount of these in the middle. So this is not counting your clasp attachment. We're looking at just the colored rings here that join our large rings and we want an even amount of these 
to be able to complete the bracelet. Um, if you end up with an uneven amount, um, an odd amount, I should say, uh, then your patterning is going to be slightly out. So aim to have um, an even amount of your colored rings in the bracelet. So once you've got that bit done, take up another one of your small rings and go back to our first large ring and pop on your small ring in there, okay? Close that up. Then we're gonna go down to the next one and we're going to put two of our colored rings on the same side. We want it on the same side that we put the first colored ring in. Pop in two. Now there is a couple of ways of creating Celtic Vision. I'm going to show you the one that I think is a little bit easier, a little bit less fiddly to do. Uh, but if you do Celtic Visions another way, then go ahead and do it that way. It, it doesn't matter, guys, whatever works best for you. So keep going down, adding two of your small rings to each of the large rings on the same side of the bracelet until you reach the last ring in your weave where you'll pop just the one like you did at the beginning. So you go ahead, guys, now and pop some of those rings into your weave. And I'll meet you back here to show you what the next step will be. Okay, so I've gone down my bracelet and I've added all those rings along one edge of my bracelet. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to take up a large ring. And I'm going to feed that through the single ring here on the first and then the first of the rings on the second large ring there. So I'm going to go through two of those coloured rings, one from neighbouring large rings. I'm going to close that one up. And then I'm going to grab a second ring and I'm going to double that. So it goes through the same path as your first one. And we're going to double that up. So you've got two large rings going through your two small rings there. What we're going to do now is we're going to fold those large rings down so that there's one on each side of your weave and it encircles the joining ring that formed part of the original chain, the small ring there that formed part of the original. And then once you've folded those rings over into position, what we want to do is to lock them into place by feeding another small ring through each of the eyes that you see down here on the bottom. So just take up a small ring and then go through that eye down there, making sure you pick up all three of your large rings. Close it up. Put your final small ring in okay and that guys is a Celtic vision unit so we just want to do that all the way down the rest of the chain um, if you don't want to do it all at once you need to do at least two sections of Celtic vision before you can move on to the next step so I'll just do up a second one for you. So we put two large rings through the next colored ring that comes off this one here and the first colored ring off your next large ring in the chain. So double that ring up. And then once you've got both those rings on there, you want to fold one on either side of your weave, making sure it encircles the joining ring in your original chain. Once you've gotten that into position, you want to take up another colored ring. And you want to lock your large rings into place by going through the eye down the bottom there. And then placing one more colored ring over here in the other eye. Okay. 
So Celtic Vision. So either do that all the way down your bracelet, it's up to you guys, or as I said, you can do it in small sections. You will need a pair of Celtic units, Celtic Vision units, to go on to the next step. So once you've added uh, the rest of your, or converted the rest of your chain into Celtic Visions, meet me back here guys and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've done up some sections of Celtic Vision, so you can see I've got four in total. And so now we need to convert this into Camelot. So to do that, take up another one of your small coloured rings. And we want to feed through the top of the first pair of coloured rings at the beginning of our weave, just like that. Close that up. Do the same for the next set of coloured rings running down the same side, okay? And then we want to join those two coloured rings together. So taking up another coloured ring, go through both of those, close it up, and then you want to double that up. Oh, sorry about that. And your work should look like this. Now, on Male Artisans, it mentioned only one ring here. I actually like doubling it up. I find one ring a little loose. It's up to you. It's up to uh, whatever you find works with the materials that you've got and your preferences. So I'm just going to go back in and double this ring up. It just tightens it up all a little bit nicer for me. All right, so that's what one side of your weave looks like. And we want to do the exact same over here on the other side to those two units. So just working on the other side, we do exactly the same. Take up some colored rings. First, feed it through the rings that are there on the top of your weave. Now you can double them up now or you can double them up later. Um, I find it's just a bit easier to double them later, especially if it's a firm fit. Um, I find it's just a bit easier to run our next two rings through single rings and then go in and double those rings up later. Um, you may find it works differently for you but that's just the way I like to do it. So I'm going to join my two single rings up. And then once I've got them joined, I'll go back in and I will double the two corner rings, these two rings here. One more. And there you go. That is one finished Camelot unit. So it's not rigid stiff. There is a little bit of movement in that, but it will sit fine on your wrist once you've got it all made up. So you just do that, guys, down the rest of your bracelet. So I'll just do the next ones for you. So as I said, this will scooch up a little bit as you go along and the amount it scooches up, scooches up does depend on uh, the gauge size that you use and the rings. Uh, but it is very simple to just add to the weave. So there's no problems if you get to the end and you decide you need a little bit more length to just add to the center chain and build up another couple of uh, sections of um, Celtic and then continue on. Just keep in mind that you do need to have an even amount of Celtic Vision units in order to complete this weave and maintain its patterning. 
Okay, so just adding the weaves on the edge as I did before. It's a really simple variation. If you can do Celtic Visions, obviously you're not going to have any problems with this weave. Okay, so there they are on one side. Do the same on the other side. So just add the single ring through the pair on each unit. So I said you can double that up now. It doesn't matter. I'll double that up for you just so you can see. So I said I just find the other way, especially if it's um, getting towards a little tight, that it's easier to join when there's only single rings in the corners. But as I said, that's just a personal preference. It's not a rule. Um, you do whatever works best for you and makes the most sense to you. So there I've added a pair of rings to each unit of our Celtic Vision. And then I'll just join them together. Okay, there's one. And the final ring. There we go. So that's it guys. That is a piece of um, the Camelot weave. So you just do that all the way down until you have finished your bracelet. Okay, lovelies, that is it. That is the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful. If you did find it useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up here on YouTube. Share the video if you like. Leave any comments or questions you may have down below in the comments section. Uh, while you're here, don't forget to check out some of our previous content. There's quite a lot to choose from. And last but not least, guys, don't forget to give our shop link up here a little bit of your love and affection. That's where we sell all the bits and bobs and you know what's that you'll need to make up this weave and the many others that we show you. All right, guys, thanks once again for popping in and spending some time with me. I hope you guys are all keeping well and safe and that I'll see you again sometime in the very near future. All right, guys, bye.